What is going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo and welcome back to some more Shadowrun Hong Kong. We are here in the seedy streets of this cyberpunk epic working our way to a secret meeting. Thank you guys so much for meeting me here once again and for meeting me last time on the first video. Glad you enjoyed that. I have 10 codes that will be giving away. Pick 10 winners from the comments of the last video. I'll announce those in a split second. Make sure to go check out the link in the description below if you don't win and want to get the game for yourself as we dive deeper into the affairs of Ghost, Carter, and Dunk. Another gate panel. This one's been vandalized and busted up good. A real nightmare of a repair job. Wu stares at the fence considering. Loops and whorls of razor wire glitter in the lamplight. Looks edged with monofilament. The corporations here don't screw around. Duncan and I have hopped plenty of fences before. It'll be fine. I don't remember the voices that I had for each of them, so they're gonna, like, use super secret, uh, like, voice synthesizers to change their voice for this episode. Why don't we just cut it ourselves? Ugh, even if you could, it snap back on you. Ever seen a high-tension wire whip through a human body? You don't want to. She's an elf, so I picture her quite foreign. And Duncan's just like, we aren't touching it. How about it, Carter? Think you can get the gate open? And Carter's like, what do you think? It'll take me a few minutes, though. Frowning, she leans in to get a closer look at the mangled fuse box. A few seconds later, she starts pulling wires, a look of intense concentration. I thought she was a mage. And then, in Cantonese, Jessica... Or he wants her to talk in Cantonese, because my, my street name is Ghost, but my real name is Jessica, if you don't remember. Uh, so then we'll say, I thought she was a mage. She is. Carter likes to know how things work. She used to be on the bomb squad. We speak only Cantonese from now on, just like we did when we lived at Raymond's. Those endless drills are about to pay off. Beautiful. At least you can still handle yourself in a fight. Alright. We're all good. Ready to go. Heavy silence. And Carter's grinning. Got it. And we're through, baby. And as we enter um, the more neon uh, streets here, sounds like some deadly stuff is up. I'm going to announce the 10 winners now. So 10 codes um, for this game, which is super, super awesome. Uh, and the light from the nearby vendor stall stabs into your eyes, triggering a throbbing ache in the back of your skull. You stop short squinting as rough voices enter the wind. Where's everyone else? Where's the damn shipment? Haven't seen them yet. We just got here. Looks like we're on a stroll through Smuggler Central. These gangsters don't know we're here. We could probably just slip past. Or we could clip them. They're already looking for us. Might be better to take them out now while we've got surprise on our side. All right, so we can go in for the kill. Uh, while unaware hostiles are on screen, press the unholster button to enter turn-based combat mode. So these guys are here, and I'm going in. So now we're in turn-based combat, which a lot of you seem to like as sort of the highlight. Um, people were into the dialogue and the setting, um, but I think, like, to me, the combat, kind of a little bit of the... You know, like the XCOM variety, uh, but borrowing a, a wholly unique world set is pretty cool. Um, but before we get into the battle royale, Hairbrain Schemes was kind enough to give me 10 codes. So the 10 winners are, picked from the comments, uh, Starla Perez, McLovin Jr. 117, Rick Bear Cat, Ethan Schubert, Jake Lipset, Stoneless Bard, Bill de Belgique, Frost Wolf, Winston Smith, and Mr. Mine. I'll be contacting you all through YouTube messaging uh, with your code, so make sure to check that. If you're not able to receive it, uh, just message me on Twitter or something like that. Um, but I'll get those off to you as soon as possible, and you can dive in as well. If you didn't win, I'm sorry. Like I said, link in the description. Uh, the game is not full price or anything like that, um, so you can dive in if it looks like your cup of tea. These guys are chilling over here. Um... I think I'll take cover right here. With our first move, Ghost comes in to battle. And uh, our aim shot at this guy. This guy's in the open, so we'll go for him with the aim shot. Boom! Seven damage, and we put the bling ring straight on his head. Alerted for epicosity. Um, let's go take cover over here with Duncan. I like the music in this game a lot. A couple of you mentioned the soundtrack as well, which I thought was pretty interesting. And um, let's go after the wounded guy. Oh, God. I thought it was Duncan, but instead, it's Mage Man Carter. Mage Woman Carter. Um, but, like, she can fire from super far away, so... One hit, one miss, that's A-OK. -okay. They can't shoot us, I don't think, from over there. This smuggler guy, freaking Flame Bolton, holy crap, that was a critical on Carter. I guess we should have moved her. Cover seems to be incredibly important in this game. Uh, because you're noticing that they're not really going after my guys at all. I picked this up on the way to these streets, an illegal street dog made from the latest Kamikaze formula. And gives us a bunch of stuff, and our attack increases, actually, every time, or our strength increases, rather, every time we're attacked. Um, frag grenade, can I hit these two guys? Oh, that looks gorgeous. You think I can get both of them? Heavy cover intervening. I'm gonna go for it, though. Toss this thing over there. Yes! 
Beautiful. All right, good work. All right, Duncan now with his multiple attacks. Um... Oh, he's got other grenades. He's got an E-Spirit Flashbang. But I think I'm just going to take this guy out. Boom. Down for the count, baby. Um, She's got a bunch of stuff that is cooling down, it looks like. Or maybe we need... Yeah, we'll wait for that a little bit. Um, but, So I'm going to move her to cover. Yeah, let's take cover right over here. It's going to cost two to move, but hopefully it puts her in a protected spot. Oh, God, she's not even in cover. Girl! I thought she would bend over. Well, not like that, but you know what I mean. Like... <laughs> Take cover, be safe. Um, okay. So, we're gonna go after this guy. He's in light cover. Miss. Take it again. Seven damage. There we go. Alright, Duncan. Um. He's in medium cover, heavy cover, but he's wounded severely. Um. Let's move him here. That only costs one. And then I'm going to go here uh, with the Supreme Shot to make sure we take him out. Oh, wow, he didn't die. Only five damage. Interesting. Um, so we'll finish the fight. He's in heavy cover. Um, so I'm going to move her actually to this cover point. Oh, I love this. This is so freaking cool how tactical it is. And I, the perspective is really good. Granted, we can zoom in if we want, which might make things a little bit more uh, intimate and personal. Wow, we missed literally from like five feet away. Um, but I like the perspective here and just kind of the, the scene that's set um, based on this. These guys are getting a little fancy with me here. Um, you should be dead. All right. And uh, put a little damage there. Duncan can finish the fight with some burst fire. And we clear it. I feel great. Achievement unlocked. Gaining back some HP. And we're moving. Um, it looks like there's cover that can be moved here. Interesting. Oh, I bet we can then follow through there. But let's explore around and make sure there's nothing to grab. Don't think so. Um, the speed of the game is... Oh, yeah, there is. See? I knew there'd be something. Pick it up, pick it up, inside this futuristic truck. Um, some med kits, which will be good in case we ever get in a fight. I like kind of how we move, and most of the backgrounds are static, but you'll notice occasionally like where my mouse cursor is. Like There's some like uh, errant uh, you know, sparks shooting out of the windows. Like The backgrounds are pretty nice. Karma has been gained, game has been saved, and we're on the move. Let's go. Take me to another place. A restaurant. Stick some food in our face. Um, as well as a pickup. Looks like we're by the bay now. 57 coin. And I hear people talking, so it looks like we'll weave back towards the main city streets. Chopper inbound. A little fog of war. Gently floating away as we progress. And this is a husky troll. I see then. What's up, husky troll? Crossing the street, you can make out four shadowy figures loitering in the plaza ahead. Troll, orc, dwarf elf, two men, two women. They're different from the smugglers on the dock. Alert, poised, professionally. You can see they've made a token attempt to conceal their weapons. The unspoken message is clear. We're strapped, so mind your manners. Wu stands up tall, takes that amused tone he gets whenever he's staying toe-to-toe -to -toe with someone bigger, someone who doesn't know what's about to go down. Evening, folks. You got permits for those bazookas? Permits? Mm, give me a minute. This guy's pretty freaking fierce. The three buck teeth and the five horns. Not the most suave of gentlemen. Nope, guess not. I must have dropped mine in a dumpster. Is that right? Well, then. Oh, God. Reaching for the rifle? Great. All right, everyone, just be cool. A little late for that, isn't it? Um, so we could fight. Put our guns up. Let's see, let's talk. Oh, I can see that. Your buddies are totally chill. Something we can do for you, officer? I'm looking for an old man, Raymond Black. We are supposed to meet him here. You know him? Mm-hmm. Where is he? Easy, Duncan. That's right, easy, Duncan. You were going to meet with Raymond, too? Who are you? Think everyone else go with who are you? No one you want to mess with. Wow, this guy's a freaking tough cookie. Like a stale chocolate chip. We do odd jobs for money. Kinda, yeah. The old man hired us to take you all on an excursion. Hired you? Uh-oh. This is kind of creepy. You're shadow runners. Mm-hmm. This is BS. Raymond would never hire shadow runners. They're criminals. Mercenary operatives. Criminal mercenary operatives. So, yeah, you were right. Your buddy Raymond was associated with a bunch of hardened criminals. The orc and the, uh, the dwarf are siblings, I'm going to say. That's why they sound the same. Sorry to burst your bubble, Lone Star. Guess you didn't know the old man as well as you thought, huh? The runners sense it. 
It's getting really hot and sweaty. Let's all stay focused. No need for this to get ugly. We need to find Raymond. These are the people who can help us do that. She's right. Let's focus on Raymond. The old man wanted us to take him into Kulon Walled City. Kowloon, rather. The bat on my shoulder is messing with my verbiage. You too. You know the Walled City? Yeah, this is Kowloon. But Kowloon Walled City is different. We're slum in the eastern atmosphere. Hemisphere. <laughs> that Batman. We get it. It's a real bad place. Now why would a little old man pay you to take him there? Wouldn't say. He mumbled a lot, too. Just kept rambling on and on about how he had to get in. Under ordinary circumstances, I never would have accepted the gig. The Walled City's the last place I want to go, but the old man rolled up a truckload of Nguyen and he gotta eat, right? Uh... Okay, gang, I'll tell you what. We're all gonna put our guns down. Nice. Oh! Holy- Whoa! What?! Oh my god, take cover. Goodness gracious sakes alive. There goes the giant troll, and there goes Carter. Carter the troll and the silent elf lie dead in widening pools of blood. Their heads broken open like melons dropped from a four-story building. Nightjar! Nightjar, come back, big man! Talk to me! God shot, no! Oh god, this isn't good. This is the police. Lay down your weapons. Put your hands behind your head. Come out where we can see you. Duncan, Wu, Jessica Protocol. Come out where we can see you. You have three seconds. Stand down. I'm law enforcement. Lone Star, Lone Star. Oh, God. Gunfire. Save your breath. They won't listen. Holy crap. Everyone, pipe down. Just give me a minute. The rat girl stares at the ground intently as if listening. Then her brow furrows. Her eyes go beating. Her nose wrinkles up. What's she doing? Okay. I've got a way out. It's at the end of the street. Everyone, come with me. Everyone, we don't need the Renna cops, Gobbit. We're the only ones. Their extra firepower is. I got us an exit, but we've got to get past the heat. You fall behind. You get left behind. All right. So the, the cops are over here, as you can see. Get everyone out alive. Get to the alley. Um, so I'm going to take better cover here. And then I guess I'll get an aim shot. These guys are in light cover. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should just move again. Why is there, like, toxic goo on the floor? That's kind of weird looking. Duncan. Right next to me. I love you. All right. Gobbit. We got to move her as well. Summon spirit. That's freaking weird. I'm going to go to the summon spirit spot and see what that means. Oh, nice. Monsoon. Holy crap. Hydro daggers. That's sick. Let's do it. Fire the hydro daggers. Ooh, baby, it missed, but all right, it's super sweet looking. Double miss, I don't even care. He looks awesome. And he's got more moves? Wow, okay. We're gonna go here then. And now get him. Three misses, 0 for three, baby. Shy Dwarf. Um, I guess we'll bring her an even closer cover. I'm not sure, she's got a little uh, pistol, it looks like. The enemy's gonna take their turns, these cops. Going after Gobbit, uh-oh. And now we've got some from the back alley. Moving in from the other side. She's about to go down. That sniper needs business. Stay in cover. This is the enforcer flanker. Crap. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to put all my pressure on her. Duncan. Let's go there. Increase accuracy. See if we can take her out. Yes, good. All right, so down with the flanking person, person. Um, nice little shot there. Gobbit is really wounded, so I'm going to med pack her up on yourself. Cast that, get some HP back. And then I'm just going to put... Oh, she, that took her turn. Whoops. Okay, so the monsoon guy has... Well, he can cast it as well, right? Can I heal other people? Or no, it's because it's not a med pack. I got you. All right. Okay, I've got a lot of points, so I'm going to move here and go mm, work on this guy. Ice daggers. Yes. Oh, I can take him out. Shoot, I pressed the wrong button. Gosh, you got to be more careful. Uh, all right. So then we'll go for a shot here um, with an increased accuracy shot. Or I'll just move and do that, which is a screw up. That's my fault. Learning lessons quickly here. Don't click. you got to be more precise. I'm used to playing action games. Me and the turn-based stuff haven't happened in a long time, so it's going to take me a little bit to get adjusted, but this is good. Better here in this battle than some other battle. Um, Ghost, finish this person off. Boom. Good work. 
And then we'll move to the next point of cover. Um, I need two to get there, so for now I'll just move up here. Looks like we can hack into that bike, which should be fun. Um, I'm going to move him all the way up for, to take on this next line of target. Goblin is wounded again. Um, poison Fog. Interesting. Haste. I'm just going to put her in cover back here, actually. So she's really sh safe. Um, let's see. What is this access point? Decking to deactivate the drones. Okay. I'm interested to see what this does. Police drones power down. Oh, they had a drone back here. Interesting. Okay, and then we're going to put her behind cover. Good deal. Monsoon's gone, by the way. Sweet. So we get a really epic battle here. This shows you kind of like the breadth of the game and how intense it can get. And you can also see our clip is kind of going, uh, losing a little bit of juice there. Um, he's in heavy cover, so I'm going to move her up against this. Kind of exposed, I guess, for these guys. Um... You know what? Instead, I'm going to move her to the back of this bike here. I guess we'll set Ghost on the forward target and we'll let Duncan handle this guy. Um, I'm going to come from behind and then just fire directly from behind. That almost killed that person. And in fact, you know, uh, Gobbit could move. Let's see. If I put Gobbit here, can we get a shot enough to kill this guy? What is this? Spray and pray. Eight bullets. Okay, let's go for that. Spray and pray. Yes, three damage, enough to kill her. Good work. Okay, so the Shy Dwarf. Um, what is this? Smart Proximity Grade. Gr grenade. A grade. She also has a shotgun. Or a grenade launcher. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to launch a grenade at these guys. Uh, oh, I did damage. 12 each. Wow. Good work, girl. Let's do it again. Oh, missed. Okay. She's a little bit inaccurate, that. They're going to... Whoa. Slowing my movement and summoning a demon. This guy's going for some shots. Uh-oh. Lots of damage there. And this demon now is taking cover. And killing his own people? What in the world? <laughs> what the heck? What is going on? Didn't they summon this guy? An evil monster? Okay, Gobbit's been healed a little bit. In heavy cover. Yeah, I guess we should just move her up. For the kill shot if necessary next time. Duncan, on the other hand, uh, can we get him to a spot of one? No. We'll put him in prime cover, I guess, for next time. He's not really in cover by that light post, which is kind of annoying. I thought he would be, but I guess you have to see more of the uh, the arrow that shows the cover spot. Um, I'm gonna I'm out of the grenade launcher. It takes one to reload, which is cool. I love how in depth this is actually. Now let's see if we can get a uh, did some damage and damage the drone a little bit, which is good. This should put us in position to win this next time. Oh, God. Someone's now firing at the demon. There must be more police down the alley. Whoa! Duncan taking a serious shot. Ghost is wounded, um, but should put that guy out of his misery pretty quickly. Um, and then we'll advance up here. Duncan, my man. Um, I'm going to put him in cover and position for the next time. It seems a lot of this is like forward thinking, future planning. Um heal myself. Good. Spray and pray on these. Can I do that? I don't think I can reach. Alright, so in that case, more cover. Um, same for her, I guess. Just kind of use that as a movement turn. Oh god. More cops. I'm just going to keep moving, I think. Honestly. Those things seem down and dead. So let's, There's two more HKPF guards, so... I'm just going to keep moving. Is this, our, is this our way out? I bet there's just a ton of guards, and maybe we just need to bail. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. I think that's kind of what they were insinuating uh, last time. As long as these drones don't turn on us. Yeah, because there's more guys coming. Staying in cover here. Okay, so you escape. I wonder if this will bring the whole team with us. No, I guess we have to get them all out. Take me out of here. I want Raymond. Perfect, look at that. The whole group, they took some wounds, but we worked our way right out of there and into the walled off city apparently. 
After that ambush, the rat shaman guides you from the doorway on the street. Through an eternity of whining alleys, damp sub-basements, and empty buildings, stumbling through refuse and filth, you make your way into the sewers below Victoria Harbor. It reeks down here, but it's quiet. Gobbit stops, sniffs, and wipes her eyes to the bag of her wrist. Her rats squeak softly in the folds of her clothing. The dwarf watches silently for a moment, then moves closer and gently takes her hand. In the dim light of the sewer, you can see they're nearly the same age. No more than 20, 21. We gotta keep going. I think we've shaken them. Yeah, we're clear. Wu begins pacing, his boots splashing in the sewer water. You feel the tension. This is BS. I'm done messing around in alleys and sewers. I'm done running from cops. I am a cop. We noticed. There's a Lone Star Sergeant dead back there. She was... Oh, he's all sad about Carter. He doesn't know what's going on. We gotta find Raymond right away. Is and I are out of here. Best of luck finding your friend. Your people died in a hell of sniper fire? Of course we're gonna do something. Run and hide. Look, we got you to safety, but now we are done. Alright, so Wu is still pissed off. He's locked out. Can't get in. They're saying there's an APB on us. Great. They knew our names. This just keeps getting worse. Alright. Constraining our rage. Throws his phone. And on that note, I think it's time for us to say goodbye. She's cut off by a sudden smashing noise as her friend's boot comes crashing down the PDA of Wu's feet. She's crushing it. What the heck? Police issued. They can trace you through that. Yours too. It's on the network. We bury our own. Good. Interesting. Pulling out two new BDAs. Nice. Great. They're prepared. We get good stuff. They're after us. They take off. And in breaking news, just under an hour ago, Hong Kong Port Authorities were involved in a firefight with the members of a terrorist cell. Oh, God. This is not good. Nice uh, little sound there, the breaking news song. So everybody's out to get us, basically. Gobbit's face is on TV. Kowloon officials report that the terrorist cell known as the White Star maintains ties to the state of Henan, and it's purported to be receiving weapons and funding from anti-corporate groups in the UCAS city-state of Seattle. Great. Things are only getting worse. We have yet to ascertain the motive for tonight's attack, but it's clearly a well-planned coordinated effort. You should see one or more of these individuals. Do not attempt to engage. Instead, report them, and we are screwed, but we'll deal with it. Yes, freaking Duncan. They're gonna hunt us down. It's open season. And the two of us will be hunted down right alongside you. We gotta go deep. Hit the mainland for a while. Find a hole to crawl into. We've gotta get them off the grid, too. Way off. Hey, Lone Star. You've got a security license, right? That means you've got a SIN, too. S-I-N. Alright. That means you can be traced, both of you. Get spied by a journal security camera. Get ID'd by a retinal scanner. They'll know just where to find you. Alright, etiquette. We can burn this. Okay. You got that right. Okay. We need to get your sins burned. Delete you from the record books. All of them. All of them? Well, wait a minute. You want us to just erase our identities? Things are getting real mysterious and interesting now. Imagine playing a game of hide-and-seek with a siren strapped to your head. <laughs> Alright, let's go on with it. We gotta ask for help. Kindly Chang. He's no Decker. She's what's known as a straw sandal. Kind of a middle manager of the Yellow Lotus Syndicate. Their triad. Alright, this is no junk joke. She has soldiers, resources, not to be underestimated. Great. Ideally, you don't want to deal with her at all. We've only met once or twice. Like I said, she's got her fingers in everything. Let's just try to stay on her good side. We'll have nothing to worry about, alright? So from there, I think we'll wrap things up, let these guys take a nap in the underground and tell you guys so long as well thanks so much for being super awesome make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video congrats to the 10 winners i'll be in touch with you hopefully you enjoy these videos of shadow on hong kong something totally eclectic and different from what i normally cover but you can check out the game for yourself link down in the description below until next time everybody thanks so much for watching have a fantastic day drink some hot chocolate and we'll see you all later